guys, it's Courtney. Welcome to my channel. Sorry if this is a day late. I'm going to try my best to get it up on December 1st, but this is going to be my Project Pin Roulette Finish 9 by New Year second update, and I'm doing this challenge with Emily R. and BD by Beautiful Disaster RN or Kristen here on YouTube, and I love both of those channels. They are awesome. They're awesome ladies, and I really enjoy their videos. I will link their update videos in my description box. And I made pretty good progress on my products this past update, so I'm really excited to share it with you. In my first update, I hit goals on three of my products, so I finished off the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I hit pan on my MAC Studio Finish Concealer, so right now you can see the progress of it. I definitely expanded the pan a little bit because the pan prior to this update was just a little tiny little bit of black so I'm really happy I expanded the pan on this. This is a great concealer. It's pretty thick and it mixes it with my foundation really nicely and it covers well too so I really do like that and I'm going to continue to work on this. And then in that update I also finished the Naked Basics 2 eyeshadow from Urban Decay in Skimp right here. There you go, you can see it. And this was just a very natural highlight color with a sheen to it, but it wasn't super intense. So I finished or hit my goals on three products, and I actually finished three products and hit my goal on one of them, so I hit pan on another product. So I finally finished this Maybelline Define Brow Eyebrow Pencil in light brown, and I can't click anything up in here anymore. I was so happy to finish this. This was an okay eyebrow pencil, but I would not repurchase it. My sister's friend gave it to her and my sister doesn't fill in her eyebrows so she gave it to me and I finally finished it so I'm really happy about that. I also finished this Smashbox Photo Finish Face Primer sample right here so it was right here in the last update and now I finished it. You can tell there's like a little bit still left in it but I can't push any more out and I'm not going to cut into it because I still have two other primers that I want to go through so this was okay but I would not repurchase it. And then the other thing I finished was the Laura Mercier Caviar Stick in Pink Opal. So as you can see, I'm rolling it up and it's completely flat. So I can maybe get a little bit of a swatch. It's just a nice opal color. It's pink and it has a little bit of a duochrome to it. It is really pretty, but it's just not my favorite shade because I prefer bronzy tones. So it's kind of a swatch of it. It's not very good. I can link my other updates down below. I believe I have a playlist so you can tell what the actual color looks like. This was okay, but I don't think it really lived up to the hype of the caviar sticks that YouTube has, I guess, put on it. I do like the Sugar Frost one that I have, but I actually do prefer other cream eyeshadows because this is kind of a thinner formula and I like a really intense cream eyeshadow. So I personally probably would not repurchase these, but I did enjoy using it. And the progress lines were actually right here. So the intro is the top line. That is the first update, and then I finished it. And then for the fourth product I hit my goal on, I hit pan on the Urban Decay eyeshadow in Half Baked right here. And this is in the Urban Decay Naked palette. This is a gorgeous gold shade. I'm actually wearing it on my lids today with some other eyeshadows. And I'll give you a quick swatch of it. I love this eyeshadow. I'm really decided I... Gave it some love to pan a little bit, and it's a gorgeous shade. That's what it looks like on my hand, and it applies really nicely. It blends great, and Urban Decay eyeshadows are really nice. The past two weeks, I wore it a lot, so I think in the next like month or so, I'm going to wear it, but I'm not going to wear it like every day. I love gold eyeshadow for the holidays, especially around Christmas time, so I'm definitely going to continue to use this and give it some love. The next product is a product that you really can't see progress on, and it's the NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray. So I can't really see through it, but it was full when I put it in this project two weeks ago. So it was about right here, and I'm guessing it's down around right here. That's where I can kind of feel the product in a way. So I do use this every day. I wear makeup or face makeup usually once or twice a day. I used to spray this before I put on powder, like after I did my foundation, and I decided I don't really need to do that anymore because I, it's not like I was wasting product, but I guess I just don't need to do it. So now I just spray my face after I do all my makeup, and then I'll spray my face throughout the day and use it that way. So I'm not sure if I'll finish this by the end of the month, but I'm going to be happy about that because... These are about eight bucks and I used to go through them like every month to two months so it'll be nice to have this for a little while. The next product is my It Cosmetics No Chug Gel Eyeliner and this is in the shade Black Brown so this is how much I have left. So I gotta twist it up. 
So just a teeny bit left. I think I can probably finish this within the next two weeks, and that is a swatch of it. It is a mostly brown shade, but it kind of looks black a little bit, but it applies brown on your eyes. These are the progress lines from the past two weeks. So the first line is from the first update when I included this item, and the second line down is where I am at now. I don't love this eyeliner. It's okay, but sometimes it doesn't apply very nicely to like my tight line, and it applies fine on my waterline, like my lower waterline, but I don't know why. So I can't wait to finish this, and then I have a black Too Faced eyeliner that I'm so excited to use, but I've been holding off so I can finish this. The next product that I've been working on is this Becca Opal Shimmering Skin Perfector Spotlight Highlighter, and this is just the liquid version, so this is where I'm at now. I'm about right here, and I didn't use this today, so some of the product is like up top, but I'm generally about right there. So I think I've made pretty consistent progress. I didn't wear face makeup for like, or just any makeup in general, I think for like three or four days. So I did make a little less progress than the last update, but that's okay because I didn't wear makeup. It's not like I was just avoiding using this. This is a swatch of it right here. So it's a little bit too dark for me, but if you blend it out, it's okay. But it's not my favorite of the liquid shimmering skin perfectors. So it has a nice glow to it. It's not too intense. But I'm excited to finish this. If I do finish this this year, then this will be the second one of this color that I finished up this year, which will be exciting. The final product in this project is this Maybelline Cherry Me Baby Lips. So this is where I'm at right now. So I definitely made a lot of progress since the last update. This is a swatch of it. It's a gorgeous shade on your lips. It is a reddish pink tint on your lips. And these are the progress lines. Hopefully you can see that. If I can match it up right. So the first line is the intro, the second line is the first update, and then I made a ton of progress within the last two weeks, so I'm at that line right there. And I do love this lip balm. I've gone through several of these in the past, and I would definitely repurchase it, but then I have another baby lips in, I think, Melon Mania that I want to finish off before I repurchase this. Since I used up or hit my goals on four products in this update, I'm going to pick four more products from this little bin. And I did include, I think, two new categories just because I was running low, so I wanted to mix it up a little bit. This one is cute packaging, and I actually don't have a ton of makeup here right now because I am only here for about a week and a half. So I took a lot home during... Uh, Christmas break or no Thanksgiving break and I don't have a ton of it here so this will be a tough one because I don't think I have very cute packaging right now here and one more this is a drugstore product something that's awesome for the holiday season And this is a product you are indifferent about. So I'm going to be right back and pick the items that I'm going to include for the next month or so. But this is going to be the last time that I pick products to include in here because I feel like I've already picked a ton of them and I don't want to overwhelm myself. So I picked four new products. So that'll be the last bits that I'm going to pick for this Project Pan Roulette. For cute packaging, I chose the Maybelline Baby Lips in Melon Mania, the one I was talking about earlier. So that's how much I have left of it, and I will mark this on the cap. So this is a pretty shade. It's a very, very light pink. It's pretty sheer, and it looks really nice on lips as well, so that is a swatch of it. So I'm going to be working on this for the next month, and I know I definitely won't be able to finish it because I'm still working on the other baby lips, but maybe I'd like to get through about half of it, and we'll see what happens. For the product that I am indifferent about, I'm going to choose the Maybelline Baby Skin Face Primer. This is the Instant Pore Eraser, so I'm about right here. So I think I would like to use up about maybe down to the bottom of the instant pore eraser part so I think that's about half of the product so I think I can probably do that I just have to use this every day and hopefully I can get that goal so I'm including this and this is very similar to the Smashbox primer it's a silicone based primer and I do like it it makes my face a little bit more matte than the L'Oreal Magic Lumi primer but it is a nice product I'm just not sure if I would repurchase it for the product that is perfect for the holiday season, I'm kind of cheating with this because I'm already working on it, but this is the 
Too Faced eyeshadow from the Naturalized palette in Nude Beach. So I'm going to cover up the rest of my eyeshadows, but that's where I'm at now. And I'm choosing this shadow because it is a glitter shadow, and glitter is awesome for the holiday season. So I think I would like to use up one of the corners and use up about half of that shadow right there for my goal. This is a swatch of it, and it's really pretty. It's like a champagne -y gold glitter shade, and I'm wearing it in my inner corners. I've been wearing this as my inner corner highlight all year, and I do really like it. I'm going to be happy when it's gone, but it is a nice shade, so again, that's how much I have left. And then for the drugstore product, I'm going to try to finish off this cream highlighter from Essence in the So Glow Cream to Powder Highlighter and look on the bright side. So that's what it looks like right now. I've used up a ton of it. I use this every single day as my cream highlight and I also put a highlight on top of it. I also use it on my inner corners as a base for Nude Beach. It is a gorgeous highlight. Christine Gross from Germany sent this to me and oh my god, it's beautiful. It's a very natural highlight and it looks really nice on the cheeks, on the inner corners, all over the face and it's just beautiful. So I'm excited to try to finish this off. I'm not sure if it'll happen, but I'm going to try my best. Thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to check out Kristen and Emily's videos. I can't wait to see your updates and I have finished or hit my goals on seven out of my nine products so far, which is awesome. So I haven't decided if I'm going to just end it when I hit my goals or finish nine products. I don't really know yet, so I will keep you guys updated on that, but I'm really happy with my progress and I'm excited to see what I can do on my new products that I included in this challenge as well as the ones that were previously in it. So I will talk to you guys later and see you guys in my next video.